This is a situation with a reoccurring um, PL741 code for TCC stuck off. And uh, the converter clutch is slipping, there's no question about it. If you look at this graph on page 20, you can see the slip is well over 500 RPM in some areas. Uh, take a look at the maximum slip we incurred here. At one point we actually went up, if you look at the top of the screen here you can see uh, we went up to 1123 RPM of slip way up here. Now if you look at where the cursor is, this red line at that point currently that was slip of 589 RPM so we're genuinely slipping that converter pretty good here and uh, why is that? Well, <clears throat> this gen, this 6040 is a Generation 3. When uh, GM went to Generation 3 and they changed to an off-access pump, this is the state of support shaft. This is where your off-access pump is bolted to. In this state of support shaft uh, component, you have a valve located there. It's called the lube boost valve. And uh, you're going to see that this valve is an extremely important valve, not only for lubrication purposes, but for converter clutch application as well. And uh, this valve is very busy. And like most valves of this type, it suffers from one of the things that usually cause a wear issue, and that's side loading. So you got a very active valve, you have it side-loaded, the end result is a problem just waiting to happen when enough mileage uh, piles up on the vehicle. So what we want to look at here is we're going to look at what exactly is going on here. Now you have three scenarios here. You have TCC off, which is the one the diagram hydraulic uh, schematic all the way to the left. You've got the lube valve closed. Middle one is TCC still off, but the valve opens. The last one on the right is TCC on, the lube valve opens all the way. Now let's see if we could take a closer look at this. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to look right here. Here is your lube boost valve right here. Look at these circuits right here. Here is your converter feed. Notice where that goes. Converter feed comes along, feeds the TCC control valve. It comes out of the TCC control valve and now becomes cooler feed into the cooler. Comes out as what? Lube oil. So this is your lube circuit. So now we're looking at the valve feeding converter feed through the TCC control valve to the cooler. Lube comes out. Notice the valve is closed. It's shut off down here. Notice TCC release circuit is active. So if we look at the converter, we have lube oil into the apply side, but here you see it's solid red, so we have full release going on here. Let's look at the center one. Here's our lube boost valve open. Notice it opened not all the way, but some. So now what happens is we have more demand here. We've stepped into the throttle. We picked up our speed. We now have a greater load. We now need more cooler flow, and consequently we need more lube as well. So we're still feeding our converter feed through the TCC control valve in through our cooler feed and out comes the loop circuit. Uh, notice TCC release still active as you see here. Okay, Now let's look at what happens in the one, uh, hydraulic schematic all the way to the right. Now look at the lube boost valve. See what has happened here? It's opened all the way. Because now we're going to apply converter clutch. So now watch what happens. Here's our, our TCC release. It's now empty. We're not releasing the converter clutch at this point, but our apply circuit is active. We're still feeding converter feed in through the TCC control valve 
It is still becoming cooler feed and comes out as lube, but we are now going to TCC apply up to the converter and bang, we put on converter clutch. So here's why this valve is so prone to wear. We're using this valve not only to control cooler flow and lube circuit, we're also using it to apply converter clutch. Now there's, there's a transition at GM for a number of units. I mean the 8Ls are doing this, uh, the 10Ls are doing this. We're now using the lube circuit to assist in applying converter clutch. So whatever valve is doing it in the 8L and the 10L, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what's that calling that valve, but it, it basically uh, does the same function, does the same job. That's what the lube boost valve is doing here, and that's why we have a situation where it's so prone to failure. So you definitely want to check this valve, and uh, I'm going to show you a situation here in the uh, state of support plate. You could see the bore right here and how it's uh, taken a beating uh, from that side loaded valve. But if you look at the beginning of the bore right here, you could see this thing actually, the valve actually put a ridge in the bore. And this, of course, uh, is going to leak pretty badly. Uh, it's not only going to leak uh, lube oil, but it's going to affect uh, uh, cooler feed. So you're going to run a little bit hotter. Your lube circuit's going to be affected, so now we're affecting our hard parts. They're not getting the proper lubrication they need. And, as you saw in the graph, we're going to develop converter slip and store a subsequent code for that. So, always check this valve. Uh, you've got two ways to go here. You can either find a, a good used plate, if it exists, uh, or brand new. Or, you can use one of the aftermarket valve repair kits and uh, fix it in that manner. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fixed videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.